What's going on, everyone? My name's Craig. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of our Pixelmon Johto slash Kento adventure. If you guys missed last episode, definitely check it out. Had a uh, ton of fun just getting some levels and training our Pokemon. We weren't able to defeat the gym leader because we're still pretty weak, but I did do a load of Magikarp grinding off camera to get our emeralds. Got loads of max revived, got the two lucky eggs, and just did kind of that stuff off camera. So you guys would, uh, so we'll basically, basically, hopefully, be able to defeat the gym leader. So first off, ooh, okay, there's our lucky egg. Put both of those on our uh, Blaziken and Sceptile because they were the ones lacking. Now we have lucky eggs for every party, every part of our Pokemon team, which is awesome. Then I managed to get 21 max revives, and these took so many emeralds to grind. I also got an additional 10 emeralds just so we were able to now have them for backup if we need to use them for anything but 21 max revives, which is absolutely insane. So, um... I didn't get any levels, which is good, because I was scared I was going to get maybe a level here or there on at least one of my guys, because um, I, I wouldn't have wanted that, so you guys, if I would have learned a move, I would have not been able to show you guys what move I learned, but I just did a little bit of grinding for each one of my Pokemon, so none of them would gain like all the XP in one level, but they're all pretty, probably pretty close to leveling up. I, I think I did it for all of them, so I'm not too sure, but I got loads of, of fish from the Magikarp and the Goldeens, and it just took ages, but... I think it's worth it. Hopefully these max revives actually help. Now, I don't want to waste them because it did take me a while to get them. So if I'm finding myself using like all max, a lot of max revives on this, maybe this first battle here, um, I might have to still train a little bit more. I'm just going to hit up this primate because he's pretty close here. Let's go with a uh, discharge on him. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. We're at level 50 now, which is absolutely awesome with our, uh, just our Minecraft experience bar, which is cool. There's a big apom right there. What you doing, bro? Chilling on the Pokemon gym, I see. All right, mate. Let's get out of here, uh, Primate. There we go. Electabuzz, 48. It's close to 50. Now, Electabuzz is actually our highest level Pokemon, which is kind of cool. Apom's like... Oh, no. He teleported. Apom's like really cool, though. I'm not going to lie. This actually looks super, super cool. All right. So, now we have our... Uh, like I said, we have our top six team. If you guys missed uh, a couple episodes ago, we've got our Don fan. Um, and it was pretty epic. He's a really, really cool Pokemon. I like his model a lot. But here we go, my friends. I guess uh, probably should just drop a Poke Heal here. And then just jump right into it. So I'm still thinking like the Buzz is a good Pokemon to start it out with. Um, and just go from there. So let's begin, my friends. Let's begin. We do have these Max Revives now to help us out. But I don't want to waste them. I really don't. Alright, so we're just going to go for some discharges here. Ooh, he's not attacking for some reason. Okay, there we go. He's on, he's already level 68. Oh my gosh. He one-shots us too. It's crazy. Alright, Blaziken. Come on, dude. Ooh, that was a big hit. That had to be a critical. Okay, good. I thought he killed us. I thought he killed us there. Whew, that was close. Alright, Blaze. Let's go. Ooh, is he paralyzed? He was something. Something hit him there. All right, Sceptile, he's not going to be able to do much damage anyway. So I'm going to use a uh, PP Restore, Max Revive, on our Blaziken first. And then if I can, also on our Electabuzz. Now hopefully these Max Revives and really any of the potions that we'll eventually start using don't get um, glitched or anything. Because I've seen in the past that Pixelmon items, when you use them like battle items like this, have glitched, for me at least. And I really hope that doesn't happen. It's annoying when that happens and there's nothing you can do. But it looks like that one worked. Now we'll see if it works again. Sometimes it's fine, but just in the past, I've played, uh, and the items either made my game crash or just didn't work all together, and I wasted time getting them and wasted their usage. But it looks like they they fixed that now, which is good. All right. So, it's yeah, it's fine if you kill Sceptile. He's really not one of our best guys for this battle anyway, but we still have Blaziken, which is a very, very strong pixel one for us. Come on, Blaze kick him, dude. Blaze kick him. Burn him. Oh, man, it's going to... Oh, shoot. Did we burn him? Did it say we burned him there? I don't know. I'm not sure. All right, Caracosta. Caracosta isn't bad for this fight. He has that ancient power move, which is good. He's going to boost his stats. And there we go, my friends. We just knocked him out. All right, so that's that two Dragonairs down. That is awesome. Two Dragonairs down. This guy's going to get killed anyway, so I'm going to go with the Max Revive on Blaziken. Now, I might want to Max Revive Sceptile just to use him as a Pokemon that I throw out again to be able to Max Revive other Pokemon, if you guys see what I'm saying. So I might want to do that. Same with Star Raptor. He's not going to be very useful in this fight, so I could do that with him as well. And that's, I'm glad he just used a uh, a useless move there, a Paralyze, because I don't care if he kills Caracosta anyway. If your Pokemon does get poisoned or paralyzed and use a Max Survive, that, that effect just doesn't ha come back, so it's good. 
he just basically wasted a turn there where he could have just finished me. Um, okay, nice. He wasted an Ice Beam. So we now know he does have Ice Beam. Maybe we shouldn't send out Sceptile. Probably would get one-shotted. Uh, let's go ahead Electabuzz. He has a chance of paralyzing him, which is good. Ooh, Dragon Breath. Kind of a strong move. Kind of... Ooh, I, did we paralyze him? We did something to him, dudes. I don't know what happened. I think we paralyzed him. Um, shoot. Who should I go for now? Uh, I think just Blaziken, my friends. I think just Blaziken. Go to the Blaze Kick. Come on. Oh, I missed! There we go. It's a crit. Ooh, he's using Ice Beam. Come on. Another Blaze Kick. There we go. He's paralyzed. This... What? Shoot. He somehow finished us off there. I thought we had him. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep going on Blaziken, my friends. Blaziken seems like he's actually getting those Blaze Kick crits a lot. I don't know if that move has more of a chance of crit, critical hitting or not, but it seems like we're getting a lot of them with him. So I'm gonna keep make sure, making sure I definitely revive him. Um, who he... Did we get paralyzed or did it say he was paralyzed? I always click through that so fast, so I don't ever see. Then Max Revival Electabuzz, and if I can as well, Caracosta, just to make sure I have a full team. I know I'm going through all my Max Revives in this fight, but we've never made it this far. We've never, we never killed two of this guy's Dragonair, so this is big for us. Big moment here. Ooh, okay, I'm going to go for an attack because he's going to finish us off anyway. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, Electabuzz should be able to finish him off with his Discharge. Come on! Yes, my friend. Seedra. No way. We, okay, so he has a Seedra. Now, we just... Could we just use a Discharge? Would that... Well, is, no way. Electabuzz. Come in clutch here, dude. Oh, man. This is close. Oh, come on. No, don't be... Oh, no. Darn. All right. I could risk it and go for an attack with, with Staraptor. But I really want to make sure we don't lose this here. So I'm going to I'm gonna uh, heal Electabuzz again. So he has a Seedra, so water type. Electabuzz should easily have been able to kill him. It's just we were either paralyzed or missed or something. I think we were paralyzed. Which is kind of weird for an electric type to be paralyzed, but we were. Um, okay, it's... Oh, he used Hyper Beam. Solid play, dude. Solid play. Hyper Beam's a strong move. <gasps> My friends! We just defeated the gym leader! No way! Whew, sigh of relief on that one. First, like, seven minutes of the episode, too. There we go. And that badge is sick. That is definitely a really cool badge. The Rising Badge. Wow. He didn't even say anything. We just defeated him. That's epic, man. I want to I wanna see this badge. I can't really see it too well. It's not very good light in this room. But look at that. That's absolutely awesome. Wow. Hardest fight. How many max revives did we go through? We had 21, I think. So we went through 7. That's a load, but still a good amount, which is awesome. Wow. I was scared there. I thought he had still a Dragonite and maybe even like an Aerodactyl or something, but whew, those Dragonairs were hard. The Seedra was definitely easier since it was just a plain water type. I don't think Seedra is technically a Dragon type. Um, it's just a water type, but it can, it can learn Dragon type moves and it eventually evolves into a Kingdra, which is a Dragon type. So that is awesome. Whew, whew. I was scared we were going to have to go on multiple more episodes just to fight this gym leader, but able to finish him off right there. Let's put our badge away, and then I guess just head to the Elite Four, my friends. Probably is just the thing we should do here now is uh, just head to the Elite Four. All right, let's get a chest here, um, and we'll put this right in there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, my friends. Seven, eight. So we got all eight badges. That is awesome. Our orb is actually filling up a little bit as well. I didn't even really even realize that, but our orb is starting to fill up. Our orb of static soul. So we'll maybe we'll even be able to go for Zapdos soon if we really wanted to. Um, and yeah, it's looking, it's all looking good though. It's all looking good. Actually, I can use these items to sell if I need to later on. And I'll just keep the max elixir in there. But I can use those items to sell. I don't know why I forgot about those or something. All right, so let's heal up and I'll show you guys where we're heading on the map. It's going to be much faster since we get, just use Star Raptor now. All right, so we are right up here. And we basically, we started here, and this is where our first town was. Went all the way down here, all the way up, all the way back here, all the way around again, and just basically made a big circle. So, we gotta go back down here, where my mouse cursor is right now, and then go back to the original town, and then there's, I think, a waterway you have to cross, and then go up, and then that's where the Elite Four is. It's also, I think, where Mount Silver is, but we're not very close to Mount Silver yet. We still gotta defeat the Elite Four first and stuff. So, that's basically the plan, and to get there, we have to go down. So, we gotta go this way. So I could walk or run, but...
but I think I probably should fly on our Star Raptor. But yeah, that was a crazy fight. Those max revives came in clutch there, my friends. They really were just very helpful. Um, Blaziken, I'd say, was a star player on our team. Also, Electabuzz. They were really just two of our two of our best for that fight. <clears throat> Blaziken just came in uh, really good with his critical hits. And Electabuzz, just the Thunder moves, or Electric type moves, I should say, were just very good against the Dragon types, which is kind of surprising. But I guess they... I guess they're just the best moves that we had. Don Fan will be very useful down the road with his earthquake. Ooh, that grappler over there. Well, something's happening to him, dudes. He's getting beaten up. Oh, man, look at this. These magic cards. That's basically what I looked for when I went to Goldenrod. I just looked around the town for ponds like that and were able to find uh, like ones like that with the magic um population very high. All right, wait, where's the... Where is the city that I... Whoa, okay, that's redstone stuff. I don't... I don't think I'm trying to go this way. All right, where you go down here? Do you get to go back around a little bit? Did I go too far? There's a cave entrance. It must be this way more. Yeah, it must be this way. Okay, so this should lead us back to the first town, if I'm right. All right, let's go down here. And let's see what the sign says, just to make sure we're on the right path. All right, um, Blackthorn City, Mountain Road. Yeah, this is the Mountain Road, so that's perfect. So we gotta now go left, I believe. I think it's left. Hopefully I'm not wrong. I think this looks familiar from the first episode. But we will find out here. <clears throat> I wonder if we'll have to talk to the professor guy that we had to talk to at the beginning. Yeah, this is definitely the first town. Definitely is. I think this is the professor's lab. So let's go check out if we have to do anything here. Yeah, this is uh, Elm's lab. Professor Elm, are you around? Hey, he is. He actually is. Can we talk to him? Oh, no. He doesn't He doesn't want to trade. That's so cool. I wish I could grab those Pokeballs to see what they actually were. Um, oh, there's some extra Pokedexes. Our PC. It's awesome. And that's about it here. It's not really too much more. All right. I like it. But basically, we are... Uh, we're done with getting all our gym badges for the Johto region, my friends. So we are now going to be heading off to the Elite Four, as I've said multiple times now. And fighting the... Uh, oh, we can't go through there? Okay. We'll probably just get on Star Raptor. It'd be a much faster journey across here. And getting those Elite Four victories. That is, I guess it's technically the Elite Five. Because it's the Elite Four and then the final, like the champion. But some people call it the Elite Five. Some people just call it the Elite Four. And it kind of that includes the champion as well. I don't know. I'll probably just keep saying the Elite Four because that's just what I'm used to. My headset turns off in strange times. Oh, this is dark. Probably just use this. There we go. I like it. Does that actually give us an effect? Like a potion effect? Yeah, it does. Night vision. That's so cool. It's unlimited night, night vision, basically. Now, the original games, you weren't able to access this area until you had Waterfall, but uh, Waterfall is not in this. Oh, no, no. Oh, shoot. Star Raptor. Are you serious, dude? Star Raptor could have easily died there. Or we could have died. <laughs> but uh, we're good. So, yeah, technically there's not really HMs except the Flash one in this game. I guess the Cut. There's HM Cut. But those are the only two, really, HMs you get, uh, which is fine. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm glad you don't need, like, the Fly HM to be able to fly on your own Pokemon. That would be kind of annoying, but I'm glad you don't need that. So I think we're I think we're good. I think we are out of the cave already. It's just a short little cave, just basically a checkpoint to make sure you had Waterfall and got all the gym badges. But let's see what's in here. I don't remember what this area was. Was it just a random building? Maybe you could heal your Pokemon up or something here. Is there anything in here? Nah, nothing. Nothing at all. I, I wish they offered, like, or introduced NPCs and villagers, like, in all these houses so it'd be just more interactive. Because that um, that's why this journey is going so fast. We're not fighting trainers along the way. We're not really interacting with the townspeople uh, and looking for that many items. Because in the original games, you could also get items that would ge randomly generate. I think that's the first Arbok I've seen on here. Hey, what? <laughs> we, wait, what? We didn't even fight him. We just got an extra level. Okay, uh, I'll gain Thunderbolt. That's the move I wanted before. So it's 95 and 100. Um, and it's better than Discharge. Much better than Discharge. So I think I'm going to get rid of that. All right, so we gained a random level there for no reason. That was weird. It might have been a glitch, but we're probably really close to leveling up anyway. Doesn't matter, though. Do, do duo. So, how about a do duo? Do duo there. All right, so here's the bridge. So this is just basically just the... Ooh, it's a septile. This is just Victory Road, I think. Maybe Victory Road's in the cave. I don't remember, but I'm just going to walk. Or actually, should I fly this? Probably should fly. It'll go by a little bit faster. You guys can still see everything, too, which is nice. Like, I wish they added, added a flying ability like this in the real games. So you can kind of pick where you fly to. Like, obviously, you wouldn't be able to go in, like the off the map or kind of glitch into the wall in the real games. But 
I don't know. I think it'd be a cool ability that you could do. Why is there a random building there? Is that a building we're supposed to actually go into? We'll check it out. You can go this way. There's another horsey. I want to see our horsey at the end of the series. Like, whenever that's, that is. I want to go visit our horsey. Oh, yeah. I guess you're supposed to just replicate beds. It's like a hidden area you can get into or something. Nah, I guess not. All right. It's cool. So, yeah. We might even be able to make the Elite Four on this episode. We'll see. We'll see. Like, I know we're close. Ooh, that's a uh, Dodrio. They're actually... What level is he? Oh, he's pretty weak. I thought they were much stronger than that. He's only looked like he was in the level 29 or something. Another building over here. Um, just a, I think just another one of these. Maybe an area you can get a, like you're supposed to get like a TM or just an area you can rest up, heal your Pokemon. Because the Victory Road was long in here. And there, there were always loads of trainers. I remember that. Yeah, this was an area you can heal up. The, uh, the uh, Yeah, so the Victory Road in this game I think was longer than the one in red and blue and uh, yellow. But... I don't know. I'm not too sure. I haven't played these games, like I said, for a long, long time. Just don't remember. Is that a Clefairy? Oh, I thought there was a... Oh, there's a Mankeys. They look kind of like a Clefairies over there a little bit. <clears throat> but well, let's go, my friends. It looks like we're getting closer and closer to the uh, to the area. If you guys are wondering how I'm zooming in, if you guys just don't know, I use Optifine. I've gotten a question. I've gotten that question asked before. I use Optifine. Basically, just is a mod that... Uh, saves you some, uh, or lets you go do some extra settings abilities and stuff, and really like just configure set your settings how you want it, so you just don't get that much lag, get better frame rate, and especially if you're doing videos like me, then you'll really want that. But Optifine's like a must-have mod if for any Minecraft series, I'd say. It just saves you such better frames. Like I'd be getting terrible frames if I didn't have Optifine on with Pixelmon. Pixelmon, for some reason, it actually does require a load of frame rate, which is kind of weird, but it does for some reason because the mod's so huge. And, so much stuff is in it. But here we go. It looks like we're in the right place. Route 26, Pokemon League Reception Gate. It's a very, very epic thing we're about to do, my friends. Very, very epic thing. We're about to go into the Pokemon League area and uh, not lie to them. We got all our gym badges. We're not trying to scam our way through. <laughs> we're going to do it legit. And through these other areas, I think that one of these areas was uh, the Kanto region, I believe. Oh, you cannot enter. Okay, that's Mount Silver. So, yeah, that's Mount Silver. We can't enter that until we beat the Pokemon League. And I think this is the Kanto region. It won't be able to let us enter this until the Pokemon League, maybe, as well. Yeah, so you can't enter the Kanto region. So, yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Okay, good. I'm glad that is. Oh, what is this? Oh, no way. They offer, like, they show the gym badges. That is sick, man. Like, these are more gym badges than what we got, isn't it? Or are they just showing duplicates? Mineral. Marsh. Volcan yeah, I think... Did we get... There's not 16 badges. Earth 2, 4... I think it's just that they show the Kanto and Johto badges. Even though we've only done the Johto region. Well, this is cool. What the heck is this? Oh, why am I... Why am I glitching? Am I not allowed to go through here? Do you have to have all the badges? Nah, dudes. It should let me go through here. I got all the badges. Oh, do you have to have... Oh, shoot. I'm glitching, I'm glitching. Let me get to the ladder. Maybe you have to have the badges on you. We'll check it out. I'm, if you have to have all the badges, like the Kanto region as well, how can you do that? It doesn't let you go through the Kanto region. You might just have to have them on you. So I'm going to go back out here in case you're walking. I might be walking through like an invisible wall that knows I don't have the badges. So I'm just going to walk out here, put an E chest up there, and then just grab all eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. All right, so there's all our sick badges, my friend. Sick, sick badges. And then we're going to be going down here. Hopefully, it'll let us through. If it's not, it might just be a glitch. I might just have to, just have to break my way through. Oh, there there we go. So that was the case. All right, can I see over this to see how am I supposed to go? I guess just this way. Actually, I'm going to check. There could be something over here. Probably not. There haven't been items in this game at all, so probably not. What am I doing? But I'm just going to look anyway. Just to show you guys the awesome map. The map creators did a great job on this. I really... Am uh, really like just happy about how this map has been. It's very, very good replica. It's a very good replicant of the real. What the heck? Oh, is that a Zubat? Okay, I'm not gonna go up there because I'm pretty sure if there's no items on the first floor, there are gonna be no items up there. We got some lava here. It's starting to get a little scary through here, man. I don't remember Pokemon being this uh, dangerous. But I, ooh, that's a, is that a trap. Or are we supposed to go down there? No, I don't want to get stuck. Please, maybe I'm supposed to go down here. To be honest with you, I don't know. Yeah, this looks a little bit different. A little bit different. Is that a actually? Whoa, lava's dripping through the ceiling. 
Nah, this must just be a, a, a wrong way to go. Okay. So we got a little bit of a puzzle here. They're kind of trying to trick us, but I don't think it'll stop us. I think we're, we're smart enough to figure it out. Maybe not. We just got a dead end right there. Ah, uh, where is the ladder that I must go to? It's gotta be, gotta be over here. Okay. Yeah, it's gotta be somewhere through here. There's nothing over there. Is it over here? Hey, is this... This is not the way. <laughs> this is... No, this is... Look, this looks better. This looks like we're on the a right the right path, but... Maybe not. Okay, let's try this one. Alright, this... Do, 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 is the right way, maybe? Oh my gosh, we're back in the beginning. We're actually back in the beginning. Are you serious? Is that the beginning? Or is that not? Maybe it's not. Did we make it through? If we, if we made it through, that's awesome. I don't know. Oh, yes, we did. Holy cow. I was just going to leave the area we were supposed to go through. We made it. Victory Road, my friends. We are so close. We are so freaking close. Ooh, that ore looks cool there. Wow. I almost went back the other way and would have messed up. It looks like the same ladder we went down at the beginning. Is this the, uh, is this the way, though? The Victory Road. Wow. That is a quite the entrance. That looks really cool. I like that. That, that major props to the, the map creators. Major props. Because that is that is amazing how cool that looks. Alright, Golek, I'm going to battle you. I'm going to get some cheeky XP before I get up there. My new Thunderbolt move. That's going to be so useful. I'm glad we glad we learned Thunderbolt. <clears throat> Ooh, level 50. Nice. I didn't get a chance off camera to... I, I just, I guess, forgot off camera to look at my Pokemon's like moves. What moves they'll learn at certain levels. So I didn't get a chance to do that um, after last episode. But it's fine. It's fine. Wow, this is the... Entrance, wow. Woohoo, this is craziness. So, we have made it, my friends, to the Pokemon League. That is absolutely awesome. Alright, so, got some, uh, or your traditional area. You got your PC center, and then some, uh, Poke, uh, or some villagers to trade some items over there, which is awesome. Let's just see the items they trade. Um, is there anything else over here for us to do? There's a nice e-chest already here. I'll drop an e-chest over, off, off over here by the villagers, so it's just a little bit faster to... Oh, it's already one over here. Nice. All right, and then let's dr also drop a uh, spawn point just so we make sure we don't die or anything crazy happens and we get spawned way across the world. All right, so here we have now emeralds. Okay, for emeralds for that. Um, we don't really need any Pokeballs or Ultra Balls, Great Balls. Um, okay, not the worst of trades, I guess. <laughs> I'm not too sure. We'll get some emeralds right now, actually. There we go. Oh, wow, apples are a load. Didn't know apples were that much. So we got some uh, good emeralds from that. And all the other stuff seems to be pretty standard. Pretty standard. Okay, cool. So we got our gym badges. We made it through Victory Road, which wasn't too hard. Just that little maze that gave us a little bit of trouble. But overall, it wasn't too bad. And we, all, and we are uh, going to fight the gym leaders. But it's going to probably be on next episode. I do apologize, this episode is more of just an adventure. Um, we did defeat the first gym, they're the eighth gym leader, but this episode, kind of towards the end, was more of an adventure and uh, just getting to the gym. But it was absolutely awesome. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Next episode, definitely leave a like on this video for next episode because we're going to be fighting, defeating, I don't know about defeating, but fighting the elite for at least, hopefully defeating, have faith in me, and uh, getting some uh, awesome XP to get some more levels and then being able to go to the Kanto region. So it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait for that. I really want to see if the Kanto gyms are going to be much tougher, kind of like they were in the original games. I remember when you went to the Kanto gyms, they were kind of tough. So got to watch out for those. I'm going to be happy to be back in the Kanto region because that's where the uh, red and blue were. And those are the original Pokemon games, which I played a load of. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. It helps out a ton. Also follow me on Twitter to be the first to know when I release a new video. Check out my second channel, Craig Plays, where I basically do everything but Minecraft. So you guys can see a whole assortment of different games over there. But have a great day and see you guys on the next episode.